We live at a remarkable time in history. It's easy to think that what's causing the stress and the change that's taking place in the world around us is the politics in the country that you're in, or, or maybe it's the economics and the, uh, the trailing off effect of the last global economic downturn. And that if we could somehow wave a magic wand, get the people into parliament that you'd like to lead your country, fix the economy, that everything would go back to normal. I'm very concerned for many of my clients who think that that's going to happen, that we are going to somehow go back to normal in the next few years, and they can go back to making money the way that they used to make money. Well, it isn't going to happen. We live at a time in history when all the forces of change are conspiring together to change the way that the world works, not just politics and economics and the things we typically look at, but everything, demographics, environmental issues, resources, social values, all of these are changing right now, more than they've ever changed before. All of the rules of how you do business, how you make money, these are changing. We need to change the way that we work so that we can engage with these new rules and be successful. Probably the most disruptive force we face right now is the disruptive force of technology. These technologies are driving deep disruptive changes into the heart of every industry on the planet. For every other industry, that technology disruption is still coming, but it is coming. We're seeing age expectancy dramatically increase and uh, it's very likely that today's teenagers, uh, those young people who were born in the 1990s, that they will live in three centuries. I mean, if that doesn't say that the world has changed, I don't know what does. Apple, I believe, are about to enter the healthcare market in a really big way. We take the internet of things, all of those sensors in the world around us, we attach those to our bodies and put them in our bodies, and then we take all of the data that comes from our medical systems, our personal medical biosphere, if you like, and we put that into a personal medical cloud, and we link it down to apps on our smartphones so that we can get real-time feedback about what's going on inside of our bodies and inside of other systems around us.